Microsoft has done it once again. They never fail to amaze me with the groundbreaking or other system breaking work every now and then. Welcome back folks. Today I'm here to talk about the latest gift Microsoft has given to us, the Windows 11 update. In the last week of September, Microsoft released an optional Windows 11 update that was supposed to bring some new features to the start menu, taskbar and lock screen. So you wanted new features. Well, guess what you also got? A VIP ticket to blue screen of death or for few lucky ones, the green screen of death. Yeah, that's variety. Microsoft is really spoiling us. The blue screen of death has been around since the dawn of time or at least since Windows decided that breaking down mid task is idea of progress. So when your PC hits a blue screen of death, it's like your computer saying, "I have had enough of this nonsense. I am checking out." Usually it is followed by some cryptic error code no one on earth understands without a PhD in Microsoft. Now enters the green screen of death. a new crash screen exclusively for windows insiders because even crashes needs to feel special right basically it is the same soul crushing system crash but with a fresh green twist it's microsoft's way of saying you are a beta tester so enjoy these extra bugs and here is a new color to make it feel more festive in short blue screen of death is for the masses and the green screen of death is for the brave souls testing pre released versions of windows different color same gut wrenching panic now coming back to the amazing update you might be thinking that blue screen or green screen is enough but wait there is more if you have been craving some extra chaos how about throwing a bit locker recovery while you are at it because nothing says productive day at work like desperately trying to remember your bit locker recovery key while your pc mocks you from behind the blue screen and for those of you who thought i'll install the update what is the worst that could happen Congratulations you are now stuck in a never ending boot loop your pc just loves reliving that same nightmare over and over again and did i mention that microsoft is already aware about the problem they even graciously took the update down after it has already wrecked countless pcs thanks for the heads up microsoft top notch timing as always and if blue screen of death green screen of death and bit locker weren't enough say goodbye to your mouse keyboard and even your wifi just in case you wanted to feel what life was like back in 1995 and for the developers out there good luck with windows subsystem for linux because that's gone too thanks microsoft so enough cribbing about what went wrong what can you do if you have already installed this disaster of an update well other than throwing your pc out of the window you can head into windows recovery and uninstall it like a bad memory you can uninstall the update in windows recovery under troubleshoot advanced options menu or if you are feeling adventurous and nothing is broken yet maybe uninstall it anyway you know just in case it decides to implode your system tomorrow but hey at least your start menu and taskbar looks nice right totally worth it thanks microsoft for always keeping us on our toes Ooh.